So our second session is about funding early stage gaming. And I welcome to the stage Spika Pakula from Product Madness. So, you've got an idea for a mobile game. And at its core, it's a chance-based game that's free to play. You know it's going to be the next top charting hit in all app stores. The kind of game that goes viral. Introducing Madness Ventures, a one-of-a-kind game dev launch platform designed to help develop, market, and launch your game to the world. Powering your idea, your game globally. Now it's your time to create, design, develop, and grow. Your dreams, our madness, the winning combo. Built with Madness Ventures. Madnessventures.productmadness.com. Good afternoon, everyone. So, give you one minute to sit down. Thank you. Can we just ask everybody to sit down quietly, please? Thank you. So again, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, happy to be here. Happy to see a full house. Uh, what do you mean by funding a game? What do we need to fund a game? So maybe we can go to the next slide. Let's start by mutual introduction. Ah, sorry. So I'm controlling it. Sorry. So this is me with a bit black hair in the beard. Uh, my name is Svika Pakula. I'm from Product Madness and I'm responsible for the strategy and business development. Product Madness, to the ones that are not familiar with the company, we have been established in 2007, acquired later by Aristocrat, which is a public company in Australia. We have today over 800 employees. We have six games in Social Casino, and we are very proud to be in the top 25 publishers in the world with seven local or seven sites, uh, five in Europe, two in the US. So this is about me. What about you? Just help me a bit. How many of you here already raised in the past money for a new venture? Can you raise your hands? How many plan to raise money in the near future? Wow. <laughs> Impressive. So, uh, the ones that already raised money, I assume you know it's a journey. The ones that are planning to raise money, you should know it's a journey. And when we say journey, in a lot of meaning, we look at it. So when you plan a journey, it doesn't matter if it's a travel, if it's a, you know, a new experience, a new project, you have to look for like a checklist of activities. So first, where do we start from? You know, I'm flying to a new location, I'm going with a car, or in our case, what do I have? A concept, prototype, I'm ready for soft launch. So I would say that soft launch, when we go to funding, probably you're looking for round A, B, C. I will focus more about the early stage today, about the concept, the prototyping. And why? Because practically this is the romantic stage in our life. We believe. So we have an idea, we believe in it, and practically we say there is no way it will not succeed. And only you, as an entrepreneur, can get to this stage because the one that are coming with the money has to be the other side, the one that will ask the question. Theoretically, they're realistic, but not, not, not more than that, because no one can know the future. So the second question, which road, which path we are going to take? So it's really related to the genre that you are in. So if you are an hyper casual, theoretically you can have a game within a month out there. I will not touch the hyper casual. If you are in casual, in a RPG related, in social casino, you have to understand it will be a bit longer. Okay, so I understand potentially I have a longer a journey, but what does it mean? So, first of all, who are the other travelers in this world? So, there are competitors. Competitors, when I'm talking about competitors, is other games that are in the market and other new games that are looking for the money that all of us are looking for. 
so the next one, okay. So where do I go? What is my target? What is our target audience? And again, there is more than one target audience, but in a simplistic way, I would say that we have our players that we hopefully will play our game. And we have the investors. Both of them at this stage are our target audience. Now, if you look at those target audience at this stage, let's focus on what are the questions that we need to ask ourselves regarding them. So first of all, if you're talking about the players, there are two main questions usually that you will be asked when you start to raise money, but practically it's not concerning money, it's concerning your idea. First, how many potential players we have for this new game and why they will come to me versus the alternative, the other games. Second, why they will stay with me. Because if you are not in hypercasual, that you expect a very short cycle or if, of a journey after you launch the game, you want those players to stay with you. So why? What you will do different? Regarding the other target audience is the investors. Practically, what are they looking for? So we had the panel before and there are a lot of uh, questions, the team, the product, great. All of them are mandatory. But a lot of the investors in the early stage can put their head in to say to you, the romantic, the believers, that there is no chance it will succeed because many other reasons. But really what they would like to understand is how do you understand the market? How do you are going to address those challenges in the market? And what is the differentiator, the innovation element that you have in your idea that can make it a breakthrough? Now, practically at this stage, you identify that might be gaps between what you want to present, what you know about the market, about the audience, about the game industry, or the game competitors, and what your target audience are looking to hear from you. And this is the point that we need to understand that it's, I see it personally, that many are being challenged by this. So, at this stage, you're looking for option. So, we talked about AI before, so I went to chat GPT and I asked what are the options to funding a game? I say nothing new here, I can self-fund it, I can go to publishing if I'm in a quite, a, I would say, quick to the market. I can go to financial bankers and I can go for strategic partner. The question which option? I will tell you a secret, the best option if you have customers, they are the best founders, the best investors in your uh, game. The problem is that you don't have it today. Hopefully, down the road you will have it and then the question about funding will be much easier. But at this stage, these are your options. What does it mean? So let's connect the dots, if it will work. So I took it by example. We have a new company, can be a few people that join together, winning game studio. And they have a great idea for a social casino game concept. Now they are looking at their journey. And the first question, where are they aiming at? So if you look really in the mirror, for most casual, and if you go social casino, RPG, it's not that within six months you will have a game. The reality it will take you between a year to two years. This is the reality. Sorry if I'm saying something else, maybe AI will shorten some of it, but the reality, this is the time period. Now, when you planned funding and you are in early stage or concept stage or prototype stage, the reality is that you don't know if the market is accepting what you are planning to offer. So, you need to understand that the first milestone, the first junction that you have to approach is market sensing. The ability to do market sensing is depend from genre to genre, the ability if you have a self-funding or you need money just to do this market sensing, but this is the first milestone. And actually what you look is to prototype as quickly as possible. And I can tell you personally, I meet a lot of companies, a lot of teams, great ideas. Some of them are very, very strong in product and games and they love and the 
Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. So in this stage, they are trying to build the game to the maximum they can with whatever they have as funding, but they never met the market. When you will go to investment and you will ask, what is your KPIs, what your retention day one, or later down the road, retention day seven, they don't have it. So instead of doing the full-blown game, start plan for time and for KPIs. This is the first stage, and for this you need funding. You need to find a partner that understands this journey. The second, if you have those KPIs, you extend your option for funding, because at this stage it's not just about your idea and about the concept, it's also with some kind of reality check that happened already in the market. And your option to fund increase. So some of the chat GPT probably will be more relevant. Now, at this stage, you have also to understand that the game will take you at least another year from this prototyping to the launch. So you need to make sure that the partner that you choose can bring you to this point. But unfortunately, it's only the starting point. When you will launch your game, and today I had many speakers before, it's about user acquisition. Unfortunately, organic is uh, not the way that we can plan at this stage. We need to plan for every investment. So a quick math for this opportunity, it will take you about 15 to $20 million to get kind of a market share, initial market share, after two and a half, three years. This is the journey. You need to understand it. You need to ask, when you speak with someone and you offer you tomorrow morning $5 million for 70% of your company, or 50% of your company, sounds like a lot of money, but it might be that it will not take you even to the point of soft launch. So make sure that you understand, and when you speak with the partner, that he understands where you are going to go together. So practically, believe in what you are doing, but be realistic at the same time, and I'm on time, right? Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much.